Yeah, what's going on guys? Boom and kaboom. Seth Spartan here. Guys, today we've got another treat for you guys. Today we're going to be doing another quick take, quick take that is on Samoralin. Samoralin, the HGH releasing peptide Samoralin. I'm going to be telling you guys today why this is one of the absolute best things on planet Earth, despite what some people might say. The doctors know about this too, the good ones. So guys, Let's dive right into it. But first, guys, if you want performance TRT, performance dosages of testosterone replacement, go to my new clinic, thehumanperformanceclinic.com. Connect with me. Otherwise, if you guys want the best peptides on planet Earth, go ahead and go to Peptide Pro or Pure Raws. Links are in the comments. Use my code SPARTAN for a massive discount. But let's get right into the video. Let's get rolling. Okay, guys. So this is what you guys are here for. We're going to dive right into the science real quick. But there's really only two things, guys, or maybe at the most three, truthfully, that we need to address in terms of what the science, and then we're going to get rocking and rolling right into what muscle mass. How does this play in the real world? Answering the question people want to know. How does it play out in the real world for some Orland, for muscle mass, for what? Fat loss, for strength gains, and then addressing lastly, science. So let's get cooking. Let's get right into this. And guys, uh, comment in comment below what YouTube video you want me to do after this. But let's get rolling. Okay, first and foremost, with Samoralin. And guys, I have currently have a prescription for this stuff. I love it. I use plenty about it. I use plenty of it. We'll get into that in a second. But first thing you need to know with Samoralin, and this is probably one of the most important things in terms of science, in terms of medical data, Samoralin is a 29, a 29 amino acid sequence peptide, okay? What does this mean? It means the length of this is 29 amino acids. And this is important. Why? Listen up. Because the original GNRH growth or GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, the original one that your brain produces in the hypothalamus is 44 amino acids in length. So what scientists figured out and what they did to keep this short is they found out, I better change this to an H before people get confused, all right? But what scientists found out, guys, was that, okay, the normal route of human growth hormone release in the human brain is the hypothalamus produces GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, that then travels to the pituitary, right? And then the pituitary dumps out all that delicious HGH and we get all the benefits, the fat loss, recovery, the muscle gain, hypoplasia, depending on if it's optimized, et cetera, and what have you. And the liver will convert some into IGF-1 depending on uh, your metabolism, right? But what scientists found out was, hey, guys, if we, if we, uh, we don't, when we're making this stuff for synthetic usage, for patients, for people, we actually don't have to uh, include the full 44 uh, GHRH length. So what they did was the natural, the 44, the, the, the native natural 44 amino acid GHRH that your hypothalamus produces, they said, hey, let's produce that, but chop off some of that because they found, hey, we don't have to include the full length of 44. We only need what? The first 29. And that's why synthetic made Samoralin is only 29 amino acids in length, um, despite our natural body's GHRH is 44. And why, why not just make it 44? Because it's cheaper and you still get the same um, growth hormone release milligram per milligram. Let's move on. Second science point. It is a GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone agonist. What does this mean? Agonist means it binds to that receptor site and it activates that receptor. So by nature, as I already kind of explained this already, right? Samoralin binds to the pituitary gland, okay? To release Boom, pulses. So it is an agonist hormone, or an agonist peptide specifically, and it is a growth hormone releasing hormone agonist. So it binds to the pituitary and releases a big fat dump of HGH. Now, last thing I'm gonna say before we get into what people wanna know, how does this work for 
muscle mass, fat loss, strength, right? The last super important thing you want to remember with Samoralin, wait for it, two hours. If, you, if one of the most important things in this video, if you can please remember this, two hours. Why is two hours important? Two hours is extremely important, guys, to remember because that's how long the growth hormone, the HGH, release lasts. So you take a shot of Samoralin, anything over... 150 micrograms, okay? And that would be the lowest I would use this, truthfully. You take anything over 150 micrograms, you get this big, fat, delicious pulse of HGH, as long as you have a working pituitary and you're not like 70 years old, okay? Anyways, you take a shot, 150 micrograms or more of Samoralin, you get this big, fat pulse of human growth hormone, HGH, boom! right? And it's big. It's big. And, and the top dosage you should ever use, by the way, is probably about 500, 600, maybe 700, because anything over that is just a waste. You can only release so much growth hormone from your pituitary at one time. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, you, you take a shot of Samorlin, boom, you got this big fat release of HGH, right? But guess what? It only lasts for two hours, no matter what dosage you take, no matter what dosage you take, two hours. This is important because as we're going to talk about shortly in some of my coming videos, big secret guys, if you guys want to induce huge muscle gains and hyperplasia, which means splitting of new muscle cells to actually overcome your genetic barriers, what you'd want to be doing is take a nice big shot of this stuff Go into the gym right after. Just take it at the gym. I have prescriptions for it. I can get you guys prescriptions if you come to my clinic. Or you can get it for research purposes off of the sites I mentioned. Peptide Pro, Pure Oz. Again, links in the description and coupon codes. But, and I advise the pharmacy stuff because they put stabilizing agents so it never, it very, it takes a long time for it to go bad. Anyways, so the two hour important because you take a big shot and then guess what? Whatever muscle group you're pounding, you do 10 sets of biceps to failure. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but whatever muscle group you pound, it's getting blasted with that HGH release. Thereby, in the future, we'll have those small little muscle cells uh, being created that from stem cells, right? That then, guess what? You can grow using regular hypertrophy. Huge secret. Anyways, let's move into what? Muscle mass. All right, guys, let's talk about what everybody's here for, what everybody wants to know. Let's talk about muscle mass and how does this actually play out in the real world, all right? Not just, you know, talking about the science, but muscle mass. Here's the truth. Samoralin is amazing. Real Samoralin, quality Samoralin is amazing for muscle mass. As long as you're using good stuff, it's amazing for muscle mass, all right? You're going to get a huge bump in muscle mass not just from hyperplasia, if taken correctly, but also from recovery, okay? Your hypertrophy will be sped up. And also, people don't talk about this enough, guys. Increasing HGH levels, you flood your body with HGH, especially these big pulses. What happens, guys? Most people don't know this. It actually will make your androgen receptors more sensitive to testosterone. You upregulate testosterone receptors, which means what? No matter if you're natural or enhanced, the testosterone has a greater effect because the cells are more sensitive at the androgen receptor level. So for muscle mass, huge, amazing hormone. Moving on into fat loss. Boom, fat loss. How is this stuff for fat loss? It's good. It's great. All right. And why do you say, oh, well, it's good. It's great, Seth. Why isn't it absolutely incredible, right? It's, a, it's an HGH releaser. The main sides of, the main effects of HGH are what? Fat loss, recovery, you know, replacement. You're basically just replacing cells faster. So why is it only, oh, it's good, but it's not amazing for fat loss. Here's the secret. And I, this is, this is going to be kind of uh, controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway, because it's the truth. Synthetic HGH, when you, when you take an injection in the fat, is the best possible thing for fat loss, why it lasts, it's not out of your system for four or five hours, okay, depending on your metabolism. So during that whole time, you're blocking the storage of fat into fat cells and you're also releasing, 
releasing stored fat. With Samorlin, guys, no matter what dosage you take, it's only lasting two hours. So synthetic HGH is way better for fat loss. It, Samorlin's still great, but it's way better. Uh, it's, it's way better at muscle mass because you get that big pulse. It's, it's, still, it's still good for fat loss, but it's not amazing like synthetic HGH because you want that total time. However, I will tell you guys this, honestly, I would rather use Samorlin not just for the price, but also it's safer long term, okay? In terms of, well, that's a whole nother thing we could get into with IGF-1 and other complications as far as the big C word, cancer, which truthfully, that's only a concern at really high or over the top HGH dosages. We'll touch up on that later though. Let's move into, no, you don't have any risks with some Orlin, okay? All right, anyways, let's move into strength. Boom, let's talk about strength. How is strength in the real world? We really don't have any, speaking of in the real world, we really don't have any studies on some Orlin and strength gains anyway. So let's answer you guys' question. How is strength in the real world with this hormone, or with this peptide hormone, some Orlin? Here's the truth. Samorolin is good for strength. What are you talking about? Regular HGH, you barely, you know, regular HGH, you get a, 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 a decent effect. But how can you get an effect like that from taking Samorolin just even just once a day? The reason it's good for strength, guys, is because one, makes the receptors more sensitive to your testosterone. I've noticed this on TRT. Uh, especially now because I'm taking a short break from some more because I ran out um, and I got to order another vial, right, from the pharmacy. But one, it makes your receptors more sensitive. Two, you have more, uh, less joint wear and tear. Your joints feel better. You have a better connection. I don't know how to explain this to people who have not taken HGH replacement. When you're off HGH replacement, you feel more dry. That's honestly the best way to put it. You feel more dry. Your life's more dry. Things are more black and white. It's, it's a weird feeling. And, uh, oh boy, I better, I, better, I better can it. But for strength, it's great. Increased androgen receptor sensitivity. Joints, you feel better. You can train harder. And you get a better mind-muscle connection. And you don't feel as dry. It's hard to explain that feeling to somebody who hasn't taken this stuff. I'm sure some people can share their... their uh, Maybe they can explain it better in the comments what I'm talking about. Lastly, let's guys, let's close this thing out. Let's talk about what? Sides and negatives. This is another thing that's going to be controversial. There's really no sides or negatives to this stuff. You can go on it. You can go off of it. It does not impair your natural production going on or off at all. All right? Pretty much at all. I go on. I go off. It's not a big deal. So in terms of natty production, don't worry about it. <laughs> really. Okay, remember you're stimulating, you're not shutting it down. So in terms of sides and negatives, there's really none. Can you overdose on this stuff? It, you would, ha it, you would, I truthfully don't try this, but it would be, you really can't take too much of this stuff. And the reason why is because your pituitary can only release so much human growth hormone at one time. Think about it like a, 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 a water balloon, okay? Once the, it doesn't matter how much you take after a point, if once the water balloon loses all its water or pool or whatever analogy you want to use, it only holds so much at one time. That's what I'm saying. You can't really, it's hard to overdose on this stuff. Okay. You really can't take too much. Having said that, um, in terms of sides and negatives, I really can't think of any, as long as you know, you, you use this stuff within the realm of, um, really within the realm of reason. Again, use everything safely, legally under doctor supervision. Now, the last thing I want to address is dosage, and we'll close this quick take out. Dosage, best dosage, minimum dosage, 150 micrograms. Maximum dosage, truthfully, you're wasting your money if you do anything over 600 micrograms-ish. Um, how often would I take it? I would just take it once a day, truthfully. I would take it once a day, pre-training or in the middle of the night. And why in the middle of the night, not before bed? Well, because... During the first, if you guys remember, during the first three, four hours of sleep, you have a natural release from your brain. If you take the Samorlin before that natural release is triggered, you're basically blunting it. So I would rather get the what? I'd rather get the, the free natural release and then cause the synthetic one after. Guys, if this stuff makes you sleepy, some people make some real sleepy. Some people, it gives them energy like me. It makes you sleepy, take it in the middle of the night. Um, otherwise... 
go take some caffeine and reap the beautiful gains of Samoraland with hyperplasia in the gym. Guys, so Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy. We outie.